What's up my beardos and weirdos? One topic here. And today we're diving into a subreddit we've never touched on before, and that's r slash white people twitter. And when I dive into a new subreddit, I like to sort through things and try to find ones that I like, but as soon as I opened up this page, I didn't have to. I just... I just started dying reading through these, so let's get started. Surgeon. Slamming scalpel mid-surgery? Damn it! Nurse. Doctor, what is it? Surgeon. Another local mom just discovered a weird trick, and I hate it. <laughs> and I hate it. <laughs> Today in church, the preacher said, Homosexuals aren't going to hell for being homosexual because, guess what? Heterosexuals aren't going to heaven for being heterosexuals. And the amount of shock. Haha, <laughs> like, yes, your preacher did just call your homophobic ass out. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Never in my life have I heard my dad sneeze at an acceptable volume. This is way too relatable. It's almost like a scream. <laughs> like, ah! <laughs> hmm. Am I the only one that can relate to this? I, this felt too real. Mother, holding newborn for first time. Aw, look at you. You have my eyes. Father, and my smile. Aragorn, you have my sword. Legolas, and you have my bow. Gimli, and my axe. Nurse, can we get security in here please? They're back again. Gym employee, and here's your membership card. Uh, me. So we fight here? Gym employee. Uh, what? Me. I fight you and get your gym's badge, so you want me to defeat you in your office, or... Gym employee. Oh, huh. I think you might be confused. Turns baseball cap around. For it is you who will taste defeat. Accidentally cut a guy off switching lanes. And when he went around me, he gave me a thumbs down instead of the finger. I don't know why, but it hurt more. He gave you that. I'm not mad, just disappointed. <laughs> hmm. I don't flip people off in traffic. I do a lot of yelling in my car, but it's usually along to music. <laughs> you throw in some Adele, and I I will belt for days. <laughs> but yeah, I don't I don't flip people off in traffic. That's crazy. Thumbs down though. I <laughs> I'm gonna adopt that. I really like that. Instructor, welcome to salsa class. Who's ready to learn how to dance? Me hiding tortilla chips bag. There's been a misunderstanding. Hi, welcome to Assumptions Club. I think we all know why we're here. Being a millennial in 2019 means getting a bad Uber ride and still giving the guy five stars because you understand that this is likely his livelihood and you don't want to jeopardize that. Oof, good guy Kyle for the win. We don't have Uber where we are. And I'm, I'm, I'm mad about that. <laughs> On a list of things that I'm not happy with today, I'm mad we don't have Uber. <laughs> One year ago today, I drunk texted my grandmother for her birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday, birthday, grandma! In getting lit for the both of us. Woo! You're an 84, yes, whole. I love you so much. Only bad bitches make it to 84. Real talk. Gabriel Kinsley. You are a disgrace. Okay. Cambria Kinsley. No offense, but if someone is excited about something and you make them feel stupid for being excited about it, you are the worst type of person. Oh, you're excited to see that band play? Oh, well, didn't you know that they suck and they're for children? Oh, you like cartoons, huh? Don't you know they suck and they're for children? But I love my cartoons. Oh, you like mirrors? Well, then you know I'm going to sell your mirror. No, not my favorite mirror. No, not my favorite mirror. Just heard a guy at the dog park tell his dog, No! And then more quietly, We talked about this. <laughs> You're gonna have some notes on this annual performance review. Every time I get in an Uber, I jokingly point and shout, Follow that car! Like I'm in a movie. The drivers never think it's funny and my passenger rating is 2.4, but that's showbiz, baby. I was young when my grandmother passed away, but I can still vividly remember her sweet perfume. 
the warm accent she spoke with, her gentle smile, and the many, many times she told me that the Irish were fake Catholics, which is why God uses the sun to hurt them. Ooh. Gina, oh Gina, oh Gina. Me. How do I do my taxes? Public school. Shut the f*** ah! up and square dance. If you didn't have to listen to Cotton Eye Joe, you didn't live. <laughs> uh, to be fair, though, back in my day, <laughs> when I was at school, I, I was in a special math program where you did learn about taxes. Mostly that they exist, and at some point you'll have to fill them out. Not like details on how to do them, but just... Oh, you should set aside a percentage of your money just in case you're self-employed, and then, you know, you, you can pay that towards your taxes, but... Ooh. <laughs> Not like how to do that. Just the fact that you should put money away. And now that I think about it, I think a guest speaker came in and told us that. And not the teacher. I don't actually think we were graded on that. I don't think that was part of the course. Hang on a second. <laughs> how much of my high school experience is a lie? What? <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> I did not mean to have an existential crisis in the middle of this video, but that's... Th this is my life now! <laughs> I get high on? Well, not life. Uh, not drugs. That scene from The Office when Jim says, Are you free for dinner tonight? And Pam says, Yes. And then Jim says, Alright then, it's a date. Oh, I was not ready to feel... Groot. I am Groot. Teacher. I don't know, can you? Groot. I am Groot. Teacher. Yes, you may. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it so much. <laughs> the best part of being a flight attendant has to be when you walk the aisle saying trash to everyone's face. <laughs> what does this thing mean? Oh. If you crash your car and you press that, it will undo the accident. Hmm. Me. My dad left to get cigarettes 20 years ago. My dad, opening the door. I was doing side quests. <laughs> it's too real. My buddy and I were just talking about this when we were playing Dying Light the other day. And how... <laughs> If you go to sleep and you wake up, you go to sleep and you wake up, you go to sleep and you wake up, it's really like five minutes of gameplay. But all those people that were waiting on you to complete the mission, to get the medicine, or, or to help them out, they're, they're, they're still just waiting. And they must think you were like the biggest jerk for making them wait that long. <laughs> it's like, oh, I just gave him his mission, and then he went straight to sleep, and I, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I bought my hamster a little bed, and now we do everything together. Whoa. <laughs> Hamsters are cute. I have a friend who lives just outside of Chernobyl in Ukraine. He watched that drama and said he counted nine historical inaccuracies on one hand. He counted... Hmm. Hmm. Join that Facebook group where you can only talk like boomers and I'm having the time of my life. Dinner with Tom, as pictured here. Can you take another photograph? I can't see him. Anna Mitchell Hollis. I am not good with the photos. Tom is eating his steak now. <laughs> wow, Portsy. Glad to hear. Hope he's enjoying it. Praying you're doing all right after knee surgery. No medication. In pain. God will see me through this. Tom says to take the painkiller, but I say heck no. Amen. Don't know if you heard, but Tabitha's son was addicted to painkillers. He has dropped out of college. Please do not tell her I told you this. Technology is confusing. <laughs> oh bother. I'm all out of honey. Said Winnie the Pooh. But bears are omnivores. He added, leveling his gaze at Piglet. When you order a pizza, you've become an NPC because you've just given an adventurer a fetch quest with the promise of coin upon completion. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Stop saying white people don't have rhythm. We can't do this too. <laughs> I hate holding my mic and not being able to clap while I do this.
I hate it so much. <laughs> Still can't believe I see tweets about people mad they didn't learn how to do their taxes in high school. It's gosh darn simple. Let me teach you real quick. Step 1. Get your W-2s. Step 2. Give those to your dad. Simple as that, idiots. <laughs> um, quick side note. I don't know what big dad energy is, but in the comment section of the last video, that it was like one of the most popular comments. Not sure what big dad energy is, but... <laughs> I love all you weirdos out there. <laughs> and and beardos. I didn't forget you. You're not <laughs> you're not my second favorite child. Come on now. <laughs> I love you equally, my beardos and weirdos. <laughs> Neither of you are my favorite. <laughs> Men actually face the most intense societal pressures. They are expected to be financially secure, successful, strong, emotionally, mentally, and physically. Our fundamental ideology of masculinity is so flawed, and males really deserve more credit for everything they go through. Uh, it's a bit close. I can't tell you the number of dates I've been on where I've not thought twice about whether or not the person I've been on a date with has a full-time or successful job, or if they have money in the bank. I'm really just there to meet a, a nice person, but guaranteed every time it definitely comes up what kind of job I'm in, how long I've been there, <laughs> whether or not I see a future at that company. Sometimes it feels like a job interview. <laughs> are you a successful man? Uh, okay, I'll take that on my list. <laughs> now here are these subsections and sub-questions I have to ask you to confirm that information. Do you have references we can contact? <laughs> hmm. Uh, we all have our own struggles, but gosh dang if expectations aren't high. <laughs> I just want to go on Jeopardy so I can buzz in for every question with fuck uh, if I know Alex. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, that's incorrect. It is what is fuck uh, if I know Alex. Found some forbidden knowledge on Facebook. Baloney is just hot dogs for people who like pancakes. Mmm. <laughs> Tibetan foxes look like someone tried to draw a normal fox and couldn't get the face right. <laughs> oh, it looks real disappointed that you didn't get the face right. <laughs> Are you fox shaming? <laughs> oh, gosh, I love foxes. They are so cute. Today, on Things I've Learned. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> All right, yeah, that 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 one's from my that one's from my Twitter. <laughs> hmm. All right, my beardos and weirdos, what a weird video! I'm so happy I made this. I really needed a laugh tonight, and this <laughs> this gave me one, and I hope it gave you one too, or like twelve. I have so many tabs open. <laughs> I want to mention, I am super grateful to everyone for the, the last video, how many comments were made on there, supporting everyone, and being so positive. There were, the last time I checked, there were roughly 2,300 comments in there. It's, it's the most commented video that I have, and I love you all so much for doing that, for reaching out to your fellow person who may be experiencing some struggles. I saw someone gave their cell phone number out there. You brave, brave human. I was just so touched, and I... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love that we're building a really positive community here. And mixed in with all that positivity, I'm still going to be making these funny videos, so... <laughs> I hope you like that, too. <laughs> and I've just finished messaging all of the new patrons today, so I want to thank them for supporting this channel. Pink Monster, Moa, Avery, Stuart Milne, Raybeam, Ocean, Faith Scott, Sam, Rosie Poplet, the Alexa Switch, JJ, Ren, Tammy Stern, Avery Aesthetic, Poofy Pomsky, Pucklemaster, Megan RB, Juliana, Tammy Bledsoe, Kristen, I'm Yay, Percy, Ross Vegas, Chris Duffy, Graham Rittenauer, Melissa Mabe, Charlie FD, Don Princey 99, Fred Gomez, Ekron Vulture, Mr. Big, Trey Atkins, How To Zuzu, and AJ Whitworth. <laughs>
Thank you all so much for being so supportive of this channel and of the community we're creating. I think all of you are amazing and I'm so grateful I get to create content for you. I'd love to be able to do this full time where I could just make videos capturing all of the best content, bring you the best stories. But until that time, I'm just gonna have to do this on the fly. <laughs> all right, my beardos and weirdos, we'll see you in the next video where we take it one topic at a time. Oh bother, I'm all out of, oh bother, I'm all out of honey. But bears are omnivores. Oh bother, oh bother, I'm all out of honey. <coughs> oh ba, oh ba, oh ba, oh bother, oh bother, oh ba, <coughs> oh bother, oh bother, I'm all out of honey. No, I'm gonna go with the first one.